So also, um, not only being in an anticline or a syncline, we can talk about the symmetry of these folds. If we have a symmetrical fold, then the limbs of the fold are mirror images of each other. As you can see, there's really nice symmetrical folds shown in these top um, left images. And if we have an asymmetrical fold, then the um, left and the right limbs of the fold are not in symmetry. And an overturned fold, for example, is given on the right-hand side, and that's where the, um, the axial plane of the fold is actually leaned way over. So you can see the axial plane is the plane that connects the hinge lines of all of the layers within the fold. And it's that line that's drawn in blue, as you uh, see down at the bottom of these um, figures. So we have the anticline, syncline, and then you can see we progress into a more asymmetric fold structure. And this can be for a number of reasons, um, but likely it's because of a differential stress uh, moving across uh, for some reason or another, be it a different um, location within uh, near, the, near or further from the edge of a tectonic plate, or maybe it's a um, structural difference in material. Um, for whatever reason, you have a different um, stress regime towards this asymmetrical side.